Yes, the title is very counterintuitive when you uh, when you uh, see the name of the game. I, I understand, but hear me out. Hey, it's me on everybody. I am back today with another video, and yes, I am doing Plants vs. Zombies original. Because I thought Plants vs. Zombies 2 is fun, but it's starting to get a little bit annoying with the uh, plant setup and uh, the zombies. So I thought, let's go to the classics, take a break from the second, and play a few levels of the original Plants vs. Zombies. Ah, the old textures, the old zombies. This game sparked Plants vs. Zombies 2, which, by the way, still updates. Whereas this game is done updating completely. Ugh, 25. Remember when Sons gave you that much instead of, uh, 50? Ooh. A lot of you don't know, uh, how the game is because a lot of you weren't born. Yet, neither was I, to be honest. I just know this from parents and brother. Believe it or not, despite being pretty old-fashioned, it is still a very fun game. The original is pretty fun. It's pretty interesting, and uh, yeah, yeah, gives you additional sun. Ah, oh, now that's new for me. Play fog to view what uh, rooftop levels. Okay, but I was tapping this last stone. What is this? Eh. Cherry Bomb Boys! Oh, my boys! My boys! The OG boys! Ah, uh, Cherry Bombs are amazing. As you guys know from... the other game. And Sunflowers were much better in this game because they actually tell you when they're about to make a sun cuz they glow like that everything used to have such basic textures and looks to them but things changed over time this is why I decided to play this again, because it's to pay homage, and yes, I know that word, to the old game. The game that created the ever-popular Plants vs. Zombies 2, Time Travel. Or, shall I say... Plants vs. Zombies 2, the past. Now, I need to... I came up with the title many times. A lot. A lot. I've said it in my head like 70 times. <clears throat> Plants vs. Zombies 2, there's a bit of past in my taco.
Or maybe a better name that I like. I don't know if you guys will like, but hey, I'm just coming up with names for the game while uh, these guys do annihilate zombies because I got nothing else to do. Plants vs. Zombies 2. Uh, dang it, I forgot what I just came up with. Anyways, Cherry Bombs, my boys. They were really ugly back then. Like, very ugly. What was the title I had? Oh yeah, it was Plants vs. Zombies 2, Taco Time Travel. Now, in case none of you understand what I'm talking about with Taco and all that, uh, Crazy Dave, oh wait, I don't have a shovel yet. Crazy Dave, the entire purpose of the game is a, he's not even trying to defeat zombies because he doesn't know Zomboss is where he's going. He, Crazy Dave just wants his taco. At the end of the tutorial level, he ate a taco, said it was so good, I wish I could eat it again. Gets the idea of time travel, and boom, we end up in Egypt. Because just as his name entails, Crazy Dave is super crazy. I will pause real quick until the levels get fun. So this entire video isn't boring. So, be right back! I used a cherry bomb on the last few zombies during that wave. Now, if I'm correct, this level offers something pretty special. Nope, it's next level. Next level will have something really interesting, but uh, I'm going to stay paused until that level comes, because this is literally just normal gameplay still. So I will be right back. Oh, this level unlocks the shovel. Go figure. So, I decided to put two rows of sunflowers. That's what I did in the past with this game. Because, you know, it was kind of important. And now, this level introduces a mini-game that has not been here before. <laughs> Greetings, neighbor. Oh, my, the name's Crazy Dave. But you could just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. But first, you'll need to clear your lawn. Use your shovel to dig up those plants. Ra ra ra! That's what he, uh, his old sound effects, man. I miss them. Let the digging commence. Yep. Teach me how to use the shovel, and here's a good surprise. Okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling! 
Here, take this walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy! Now go bowl on me, a winner! Walnut bowling. This is a fun little mini game. Also, this is what inspired that one plant in Plants vs. Zombies 2 beach level. As you guys could probably tell. And it's going to get a lot cooler shortly, I think. Go down, go down, go down. Dang it! Man, it's so hard to get a three for one. Ah, here we go. Kaboom! Randomly, the game will give you explosive walnuts. Which, by the way, that would be an amazing upgrade. In Plants vs. Zombies 2. I'm going to save the rest of that for when I get, uh... I probably should not be waiting. Boom. Yeah, unfortunately, it's almost impossible to get a three-for-one in this. But, hey, you gotta do the fun that you gotta do. Hey, the ice plant. Now, um, javelin. The javelin is a very, very annoying zombie. Would you like to view a video to earn a rake? No. This is new. I've never seen this before. I will be right back. Okay, so now I have that. I'm not going to plant him just yet. But yeah, guys, in my old strategy, because uh, sunflowers only get, well, suns, only give 25 sun in this one, I made it a thing where I had two rows of sunflowers, because that's just smart. So, um... I'm going to pause again till things get interesting, a.k.a. when the Javelin zombie comes. And, yeah. Yeah, there's Miss Javelin. Here's what they do. They do that. It's pretty annoying.
Oh, I didn't think that instantly explodes. But yeah, until they use their javelin, they run. And they're quite fast. Ah, shoot. Oh yeah, achievements. That that's a thing in this game. I I completely forgot about that. But yeah, I'm going to skip to when I um, well, to the final levels of day. So, trust me, there's a reason this video is uploaded late, if it does go up pretty late. Because I'm trying to go by levels. Okay, so this video is definitely going out late. Uh, mainly because I had to help someone. And it's a story that I cannot say because of literal personal reasons. Not my personal reasons, theirs. And I respect boundaries. So, yeah, this this video is 100% going up late, but... I... I had to help, because they were hurting a lot. I could really tell. So, I doubt you are, but Silver, if you are watching this video somehow, because I don't know how you could have found my channel, I really hope you are doing okay now. Because, yeah. <clears throat> so, I haven't really gotten that far into the level, well, not level, game. But things have happened for sure, and this video is going to be long before I could even show you guys the most famous... Is it the most famous? Yeah, I believe it is. The most famous place on the original Plants vs. Zombies history. But I guess I'll have to show you guys some of those at another time. Because the level is kind of in the backyard. So I'm going to finish this up, unlock my next plant, and then I'm going to be ending the video. So, seeing as I'm going to be doing it like that, might as well let this level play out. Man, imagine how much sun I can get if all... <coughs> <coughs> oh, boy. If the double-headed sunflowers can produce sun this fast... That would be nuts. No. Like, I already get a bunch of sun from the sunflowers when they actually start producing sun and are at one line, and give me 50 sun for each sun. Imagine 50 sun 
two row of double headed uh, double headed sunflowers and and the fact that they don't go slow I was trying to think of what I was saying there for some reason but imagine how insanely OP that would be Alright, so let's blow up some losers. Hmm. I'll blow up this row. <clears throat> Perfect. So... I got the plan either the levels are done for today's video tomorrow I will be doing more of the game but I will not be playing every single level bonus game here's a bonus game to get your day started wanna play no thank you bonus game it's the vase breaking game I hate that game. But, um, yeah, guys. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing through, you guys probably think, level 8 of this place. What are you? Oh, yeah, I remember who you are. But, no. I'm going to be playing level 10 of everywhere. Because... Hey, I'm just that crazy. I'm crazier than Crazy Dave, and he is pretty crazy. But, yeah, guys, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time, and goodbye.